Good morning. Welcome to Currents Cumber. Today in this video, let us see kinetics of bimolecular surface catalyzed reaction. In the previous video, we have discussed kinetics of unimolecular surface catalyzed reaction that is based on Langmuir adsorption isotherm. Okay. So, there are two mechanisms proposed to explain the bimolecular surface catalyzed reactions. They are langmuir hinselwood mechanism, ailey radial mechanism. In this video, we will discuss langmuir hinselwood mechanism. Okay. So, what is the scheme of the mechanism? Here, you see, both A and B molecules are adsorbed on the surface which undergo reaction to give products. Let us derive the rate law, rate expression and the kinetics of bimolecular surface catalyzed reaction. Okay, in bimolecular surface catalyzed reaction, there are two molecules A and B. Okay, they are adsorbed on the catalytic metal surface okay with the rate constant for adsorption of a rate constant for adsorption of b okay and kd the reverse process is called desorption kd is nothing but the rate constant for the reverse process in this case both the molecules are adsorbed and undergo reaction to give a product P. In this case, the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the extent of coverage of A molecule more the surface coverage more the rate of the reaction. Okay. So, and also the extent of uh, surface coverage of B molecule. Therefore, the rate law is given by R equal to rate constant into surface coverage theta A surface coverage of A molecule and surface coverage of B molecule. Higher the surface coverage, more the rate of the reaction. Okay? So, theta A is the fraction of surface covered by the A molecule. It is the fraction of the surface covered by the B molecules. From the Langmuir adsorption isotherm, the surface coverage is given by the formula theta A equal to from Langmuir adsorption isotherm. Okay, the surface the formula for theta A, okay, K A P A divided by past concentration. It can be, for example, P A and P B or partial pressures of A and B or concentrations of A and B in solution state. In gaseous state, partial pressures of A and B in solution in liquid state, uh, they are expressed as concentrations. Okay. So, Ka, Pa divided by 1 plus Ka, Pa plus Kb partial pressure of B. Ka equal to uh, equilibrium constant. Okay, at equilibrium equilibrium constant equal to rate constant for adsorption process divided by rate constant for desorption process for molecule A similarly Kb we can write K, Ka for B molecule adsorption rate constant for A molecule ok. So now theta B equal to Kb Bb divided by 1 plus Ka Ka plus Kb Bb so let us substitute uh, theta A and theta B in this expression to get the rate expression for bimolecular surface catalyzed reaction. It is assumed that the products do not adsorb on the do not get adsorbed on the metallic surface. Okay, there are three cases. Let us see 
case one first at low pressure what will happen at low pressure see the pressure is 0.000 so what will happen uh, these two terms the two two terms will be negligible okay this this term and this term will be negligible therefore it will be 1 1 plus 0 therefore and here you see the rate is directly proportional to partial pressure of A and partial pressure of B. First to power of partial pressure of A, first to power of partial pressure of B. Therefore, first order with respect to A molecule, second order, uh, first order with respect to B molecule, therefore the total order is 2. Okay. So, this is the first order. For example, rate, uh, rate is plotted versus pressure of A. Okay. And, uh, with respect to pressure, uh, keeping pressure B constant, let us take both our gases, okay, we keep uh, P pressure, pressure of the gas constant, so it is first order with respect to, okay, it is a straight line, equation is obtained. Let us see case 2, if A is adsorbed more strongly, Okay, A is adsorbed more strongly. Now, at low pressure, it follows first order only. Okay. So, in, the, in this expression, okay, this adsorption Ka is very much stronger because A is adsorbed more stronger. So, these terms are negligible. One, this. Therefore, the denominator is Ka Pa whole square. So, the denominator will be Ka, Pa whole square. Therefore, on cancelling, Ka, Ka will cancel. Okay. Now, as you see, first order, the rate is directly proportional to partial pressure of B and partial minus, partial, if you take numerator, Pa to the power minus 1. Therefore, first order with respect to B and minus 1 order with respect to A. Okay. So, this is what seen here. See, as uh, um, adsorption of A is very very high, as you increase the pressure, A will be fully occupied. Therefore, there B cannot occupy the surface. So, the rate of the reaction decreases okay, after certain pressure. So, it shows minus 1 order with respect to A, that is PA to the power minus 1. Okay. Let us see case 3, just opposite. In this case, B is adsorbed more strongly than A. Okay, B is. So, it is completely reversed. The denominator will be uh, KB, BB whole square. Therefore, uh, let us substitute. Uh, this is negligible because uh, this is more significant. These are all negligible. Okay. So, you will get first order with respect to uh, the rate is directly proportional to concentration of A or partial pressure of A, first order with respect to A and uh, Bb to the power minus 1. Therefore, uh, it is negative order with respect to B. Okay, let us now see Langmuir adsorption isotherm. All surface catalyzed reactions are based on Langmuir adsorption isotherm. Okay. In another video, I have uh, discussed Langmuir adsorption isotherm. Okay. In this, uh, I have given how the theta value is obtained from adsorption isotherm. This is the theoretical, ex theoretical treatment of adsorption phenomena. So, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for deriving this adsorption isotherm. He was awarded the Nobel Prize. Okay. So, this is the adsorption process. In, um, Langmuir adsorption isotherm is applicable to unimolecular adsorption. Okay, unimolecular adsorption. Okay, it forms not multi-layer, unilayer, unimolecular layer, only one layer. Okay, so this is adsorbent, this is adsorbate, but the, the, uh, the molecules are adsorbed on the adsorbent, the metal surface. Okay. So, there are two processes, adsorption, 
the forward process is called adsorption the reverse process is called desorption k is the rate constant for forward process adsorption process kd is the rate constant for the reverse process now at equilibrium um, after some stage the equilibrium is reached so at that stage okay rate the rate of forward process equal to rate of reverse process that is rate of uh, adsorption equal to rate of desorption now let us see rate of adsorption rate of adsorption depends on surface uncovered it, it uh, actually theta is the fraction of surface covered okay so 1 minus theta is the fraction of surface free if more surface free then only more adsorption will take place if already occupied then adsorption cannot occur so 1 minus theta in the rate of adsorption is directly proportional to 1 minus theta and more the pressure the number of more the number of molecules therefore more will be adsorption the rate of adsorption is directly proportional to pressure and fraction of surface not covered not covered fraction of free uh, surface okay that is 1 minus theta ka is the rate constant for adsorption and the rate of desorption equal to okay is uh, is directly proportional to theta only not pressure okay it is desorption okay so it is directly proportional to theta only theta is the fraction of surface covered if more frax more surface is covered if the extent of surface coverage is more then the rate of desorption will be more okay so this is the rate constant for the desorption process now let us um, equate uh, rate of adsorption equal to rate of desorption at equilibrium okay then simplify and uh, let us multiply uh, inside okay and uh, let us take it like theta theta uh, in the same side okay you bring theta in the same side okay and then let us take theta out okay and then you have theta equal to ka by p kd now divide the equation by kd divide the equation numerator and denominator by kd therefore ka by kd that is equilibrium constant k divided by 1 plus equilibrium constant k into p okay Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. Thank you again. Thank you.